Hi, this is Cupcake, and this is the second time I'm filming this video because I didn't really like the last one that I just made. Um, but I did want to, since I'm wearing a tank top and can show you a little bit of the loose skin that I have right now. I also have a little bit of overhang right here. Um, so that's some of the, I haven't really showed that off too much. Um, I don't have a full length mirror, I would probably do more to show you guys more body shots, but, um, but yeah, I don't, so anyway, um, I did want to make this video to talk about what I eat when I go out to fast food, but I also just wanted to mention what I'm doing as far as exercise goes, because I didn't really mention it in the last video that I just made. I bought some five pound weights, and... Um, I have been walking with those like I take them up the stairs a couple of times like three flights of stairs at work um, I take the stairs at work instead of the elevator and now and, and with the weights it helps and um, I also walk on my breaks or I, I try to at least on one or two of my uh, breaks and I use the the weights then too and just do different things it's like curling or you know, just even kind of uh, walking briskly, you know, with them in my hands. Sorry, that's a little bit close probably. Anyway, um, so that's what I've been doing. I do that uh, at work, so five days a week. And then on the weekends, you know, I sometimes I do laundry, sometimes I do uh, dishes, you know, anything like that. But otherwise, I haven't done too much. You know, sometimes we'll go places and walk around for a while, but uh, the weekends have been kind of lazy and I spend a lot of time um, just relaxing. I know that I'm going to have to pick up the pace, um, but what I've been doing has already made a difference. Um, it's it's helped the scale move, so feeling pretty positive about that. Anyway, now I just want to talk about fast food. Um, my husband and I do eat out usually a couple of times a week, and I'm just being real with you, you know, when I tell you that. I'm not saying that this is what you should do, or saying, you know, this is, like, a, the best way to go about things, but um, it is something that we do. We ate out before I had surgery, um, we eat out still, but the things that I eat have changed a lot. So I'm going to start with some of the places that, that I like to go. Uh, one would be Del Taco. The other day I had a spicy chicken burrito, which was like five bucks. And I ate the spicy chicken out of it and some of the green chilies and the cheese. And then I just kind of ate around the rice. I, um, I had probably like two teeny bites of the rice, but uh, what I ate was filling and um so i felt i felt good after eating that and it was really yummy so i recommend that um i usually get beans and cheese when i go there as well i the last time i went i got beans and cheese and i just had them at work the next day and let's see taco bell um because i really love american like american mexican fast food um Taco Bell, I can eat almost anything except for like the tortilla shells and the tortilla chips and the um, the tortillas. So yeah, I I usually get like a you know a taco like a taco supreme um, because I like sour cream um, or. I mean, basically anything, you know, I've had a seven layer burrito when we've gone there since surgery and just ate the insides out of that. I just eat around rice. Um, I haven't had anything with steak in it. I used to really like the, the bowls, but since, excuse me, I'm not, um, able to eat steak till like four months out. I've avoided those, but I'll probably eat them again and just ask for them without the rice. Um, the, whatever they're called, the power bowls. Yeah. Anyway, so I can eat just about anything at Taco Bell, like the insides of just about anything. Wendy's, we, we eat at Wendy's a lot because I really like the chili and it helps keep things regular. So I probably have Wendy's chili like once a week um, or at least buy it once a week and then it usually lasts me two or three meals. 
So um, I get a small chili or I really love their junior bacon cheeseburgers like I have for a, a while now. They were one of my favorite things before surgery too. So if I get that, then I just eat some of the bacon and some of the cheese and some of the burger. And uh, that tastes really good. We Sometimes we do Panda Express and I like the mushroom chicken and I like the Kung Pao chicken. So I've had those since surgery. Um, I just get a small side and uh, that would last me two or three meals as well. When we go to McDonald's, um, I've just been getting like a regular cheeseburger with Big Mac sauce, um, you know, instead of like the ketchup and the mustard. And I usually do it without the onions as well. It tastes really good. It's like a dollar and um, I can't eat the whole cheeseburger. And if I eat too much of the Big Mac sauce, it gives me a stomach ache. But uh, that's what I've been doing when we go to McDonald's. Um, also, I've done like the sausage burritos in the past, but I really don't want scrambled eggs lately. Um, but right after surgery, I did that. Let's see, Burger King, I would just do uh, probably a bacon cheeseburger um, and just eat the, the bacon and the meat and the cheese. Um, it's pretty standard for me. I really like bacon cheeseburgers. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think where else that we have eaten. Those are the places that we, if we go out, like we'll get fast food. Those are the places that we tend to eat at. We have like a more authentic Mexican fast food restaurant uh, nearby, Rancheritos. And um, I've done like the chili rellenos there. I ate some of that, I wasn't able to eat a lot of it, or the beans. Um, the beans also help keep me regular. If we go out to a restaurant, the other day we ordered from Texas Roadhouse. It's so much cheaper now um, that I'm eating a lot less food. And I feel like it's cheaper to get to go because you, you know, if you tip the to-go person, it's usually less expensive than if you sit in the restaurant and, and what you would tip. At least that's how it has been for us. I ordered a kid's meal, it was like five bucks um, the other day when we ordered to go from there. I got the grilled chicken uh, kid's meal. Um, it was too dry for me, so I only ate a little bit of it and gave the rest to my husband, but I had also gotten green beans and I love their green beans um, and chili, and their chili is really good too. I still had like a ton of leftovers even after I ate it for like two or three meals, but that's, that's kind of life when you have uh, the VSG, so, or probably any, any, um, weight loss surgery. When we went to Cracker Barrel, I had a little bit of meatloaf and, um, green beans and plenty of leftovers there too. Uh, at restaurants, I feel like it's pretty easy to find something that you can eat. Um, when we went to Chili's, I did, like, the enchilada soup and I had leftovers. I also got some black beans and had leftovers. And that's really good. I feel like you can, you know, pretty much eat anywhere as long as you, like, skip the carbs, you know? I don't eat bread. I don't eat tortillas. I don't eat rice, you know, except, like, maybe tiny little bites. Um, we have a place called Taco Time here that I love, that I have loved. And my favorite thing um, forever has been their crisp bean burritos. So they're, like, fried bean burritos. And I don't do those anymore, but I can eat a bean burrito from there, like the insides of one. Not even a whole one, generally, but um, I can eat the insides of those. So we have been trying to eat at home a lot more. We did uh, buy a bunch of meat, and uh, my husband made uh, ground beef with um, sautéed uh, red and green peppers and onions, um, and that was so good. And I had that for a few days and that was so, so good. Last night we had some like frozen already cooked chicken and um, he made that with uh, broccoli and cauliflower. I didn't eat the broccoli because I heard that that, you know, gives people really bad gas and didn't really feel that. But I had a little bit of the cauliflower and uh, he sauteed that with uh, Alfredo sauce and that was really good. That was awesome. He's super wonderful. Um, so yeah, we are trying to eat more at home for sure. It's less expensive and um, it tastes really good. But when we do eat out, those are some of the things that I've been eating. And um, like I said, I'm not, I'm not saying that this is how 
you should do it but you know i'm sure that there are other people out there like me who do eat fast food still even after having weight loss surgery and um, basically it's just about avoiding the carbs you know i still i can still get protein in um, i can have some of the things that i used to really enjoy eating so I don't feel like I'm depriving myself, which I think is important because I could go, you know, I could be really strict about what I eat, but I feel like eventually I'm going to want to eat those things again and I'm just going to regain the weight. So I'm, I'm eating these things, um, on occasion and I'm still losing weight. And so, you know, I, I feel, I feel okay with my decisions right now. I'm eating things in moderation and so... Yeah, um, that's what I'm doing. You know, if that's not what you're doing, that's that's perfectly fine. Um, anyway, if you guys have any, you know, any go-to foods, like when you eat fast food, um, I'd love to hear it, you know, because I, I like to try new things or if there's certain snacks that you really enjoy that I haven't mentioned in my videos, um, you know, that you eat at home, I would love to hear that too. Or easy meals, I'm really not much of a cook. But um, I'm definitely open to hearing suggestions and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.